Welcome to another Rail Fan Dan production. Enjoy this intro. We are in the wide open spaces of the Columbia River Gorge on the Washington-Oregon state line for as much rail action as we can see in a single day. The Union Pacific Portland sub runs along the Oregon side of the river. Here at Biggs Junction, an eastbound potash train is heading back towards Canada with a solid Canadian Pacific consist. Mount Hood can be seen in the distance and of course the Columbia River is to the right. We are really starting out with a bang in this video. Across the river we see another train heading westbound. Subscribe and hit the bell if you're enjoying so far. Also here is one of the few bridges that cross the river in the gorge. This one is the Highway 97 bridge between Oregon and Washington. Now crossing over to Washington, we are looking at the BNSF Fall Bridge subdivision at Maryhill with the westbound BNSF manifest train. There was also a third train waiting in the Maryhill siding to the right of the camera. Spring has not officially begun yet, but there are very evident signs of its arrival. The grass is already looking quite green compared to the brown it normally is for the year. This was an unusually calm day of wind. Sometimes it can get so windy in the gorge that it's too risky to fly a drone. I personally know of someone who has lost a drone in the gorge because of high winds. The drone couldn't handle it and blew away. We can see the rear of that third train in the distance in Mary Hill Siding. A Norfolk Southern unit bringing up the rear gives some decent variety to the usual BNSF orange. I had got a heads up about a train coming off the Oregon trunk line west of here so I headed there next to wait for it. Only about 5 miles west of Biggs Junction is a BNSF northbound manifest on the final stretch of its journey along the Oregon trunk about to cross the river to Wishram, Washington. This 
They pass through Tunnel 1 here with the UP Portland sub in the foreground. That's the BNSF Wishram Yard across the river. From the ground at Tunnel 1, it's definitely not good lighting here, but when you see a train on the Oregon trunk, you do not pass it by. The same train is now seen crossing the river from Oregon into Washington. They slow down enough to cross the bridge that I was able to pack up and move to another location to film them again just around the corner from Tunnel 1. Much of the border between Oregon and Washington is right down the middle of the Columbia River. Another great example of the windless day in the gorge. Very, very rare to ever get any reflection like this on the water. The drawbridge here spends most of its time in the lifted position. To the left of the drawbridge section is the old swing span section which was used before the dams along the river were constructed. Once the dams were built and the water level was raised, the railroad had to build the lift bridge to accommodate larger river traffic such as barges.
now on the Fallbridge sub. This train is pulling into Wishram where a crew change will take place. After this, we headed back near Maryhill where we caught a pair of BNSF westbound grain trains. We is my buddy Mark Rowland and I who are in the shot here. He was visiting from the Chicago area for the annual Winter Rail event which would take place the next day on March 16th. We decided to spend time this day before catching trains in the gorge. The train is passing the vineyards of the Mary Hill Winery here. Something else to note is the road and second cut to the left of the railroad. This is the old alignment of the SPNS who built the route. The alignment was changed through this portion of the route when the dams were constructed along the river due to the higher water levels farther east at the John Day Dam. Not long after this, the second grain train made its appearance along the Mary Hill siding just east of where we were.
After this, we moved west to Lyle to await our next catch, which was a westbound coal train passing through Tunnel 11. Some more decently vibrant spring green here along the rocks. Right here is where the Klickitat River flows into the Columbia River. Not long after this, we saw another westbound coal train along the same fill you just watched the previous coal train. This coal train is about to traverse one of my favorite places in the Columbia Gorge, the series of tunnels 7, 8, 9, and 10 along sheer rock cliffs.
We then moved farther west to a spot west of Bingen where another series of tunnels cut through big rocks, this time for another westbound grain train. Grain trains and coal trains make up the majority of traffic on the BNSF through here. Next, we cross the river back into Oregon along the UP Portland sub at Cascade Locks for a westbound UP grain train. The old Cascade Lock Canal is seen in the shot here. The Cascade Locks were built in 1896 to allow steamboats to bypass the Cascade Rapids of the time and navigate the river as far as the Dalles. The Bonneville Dam is just west of here and when it was constructed it submerged the lock and rendered it obsolete. Another landmark here is the Bridge of the Gods just coming into view. It crosses one of the most narrow sections of the river in the gorge and is quite a marvelous structure. This train is about to come to a stop in the Cascade Lock siding to wait for an eastbound train which we will see next. We then moved to the very east end of Cascade Locks to capture the eastbound train. This is either a UP grain or soda ash train. A very small hint of the remains of winter can be seen in the mountains above.
battery of the drone was running low, so I had to land before I could film the rear of the train. to the very beginning of the day. This was the first train we caught at the famous Multnomah Falls east of Bridal Vale, a westbound UP grain train which just happened to have a BNSF leader. More evidence of the remainder of winter here as well. Multnomah Falls is indeed quite an impressive sight. At 620 feet tall, it is the tallest waterfall in the state of Oregon. If you've enjoyed this video, then consider helping the channel out with a super thanks donation via the thanks button on the bottom of the video. It tremendously helps to continue bringing you quality content like this, but please also do not feel obligated to do so. Your viewership is all the support I could hope for. Thanks for watching, and check out more videos on my channel of Cinematic Trains.